Amy. I'm so glad you're here today for virtual preschool. Good morning, everyone. I'm so glad that you are here today for virtual preschool. My name is Miss Jamie, and I'm going to be your virtual preschool teacher. I also have another friend named Betsy, and she's asleep right here behind my easel. Would you like to help me wake her up? We have to say like this, Betsy, where are you? Do you think you could call Betsy for me? Ready? Say, Betsy, where are you? Is she back there? Betsy, wake up. Our friends are here waiting for us. Hello, boys and girls. Good morning. I'm so glad you're here today. Our preschool friends are all at home. Are you at home too? That's okay. We can play and learn together right here. Betsy, should we sing hello to our friends who are watching today? Yes, we're going to sing hello to you, and then you can sing hello to Betsy. Are you ready? It goes like this. Hello, friends. How are you? And then you sing hi to Betsy. Ready? Hello, Betsy. How are you? And you can even sing hello to me, Miss Jamie. Hello, Miss Jamie. How are you? We're so glad to see you here, here. We're all here, here, here. We're all here, here, here. We're all here, we're all here together. Yay! I'm so glad you're here. Betsy, what are we learning about today? Oh, a new fairy tale? Yes, we're gonna be telling a new fairy tale today. All week, we've been telling these stories that start with the same words. Do you remember what those words are, Betsy? Yes, it starts like this. Once upon a time. Can you say it too? All right, Betsy, I'm gonna put you down, okay? All right, will you listen from over on the other side? All right, bye everyone, see you soon. Betsy's gonna sit over here and listen to the story. The one we have today is called The Three Billy Goats Gruff. Billy goats mean they're boy goats. And in this story, it takes place in a valley. There's a river, do you see this, or a stream right in the middle. And one side of the stream, there's some rocks and some grass, and then there's a bridge that gets to the other side of the stream where there are flowers and plants, and it's beautiful. There's even two little mushrooms. Do you see those two little mushrooms at the bottom? Where the story takes place is called the setting. So this setting is in a valley, and the story goes like this. Once upon a time, there were three Billy Goat brothers who lived in a valley. There was a little billy goat gruff and a middle billy goat gruff and a great big billy goat gruff. Well, the billy goats lived on this rocky side of the river and they really wanted to go to the other side so that they could eat the plants and flowers and fill up their bellies. But the problem was underneath the bridge there lived a mean, nasty, old troll. Do you see the troll that lives under the bridge? Well, the first little billy goat is decided to go on the bridge and his hoofs went like this. We have to all say this part together. So when his hoofs were on the bridge, they went like this. Trip, trap, trip, trap. Can you read it and say it with me? Say trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap. Yeah, that's the sound that his hoofs made on the bridge. Well, the troll heard him up there. He jumped up and yelled, Who's that trip trapping over my bridge? And the little billy goat said, It's just me, little billy goat gruff. I'm just trying to get to the other side. The troll was so mean. He said, I'm going to eat you for lunch. <gasps> and the little billy goat said, No, no, no. Don't eat me, wait for my brother. He's much bigger than I am. The troll thought about it for a minute and then he said, okay, you can go across. So the billy goat went trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap over here where he was starting to eat the plants and flowers. Well, the middle billy goat gruff decided to go second and his medium sized hoofs went like this on the bridge. Can you say it with me? They went trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap. 
Can you read the words? Trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap. The troll heard him and he jumped up on the bridge and said, Who's that trip trapping over my bridge? And the middle billy goat gruff said, It's me, middle billy goat gruff. I'm trying to get over to the plants so I can have some lunch. The troll didn't like that at all. Do you know what he said? He said, I'm going to eat you up. And the middle billy goat gruff said, no, 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 no. Don't eat me. Wait for my brother. He's much bigger than I am. The troll thought about it for a minute, and then he said, okay, you can cross. I went back down under the bridge, and the middle billy goat gruff went trip, trap, trip, trap, trip over here to eat the green flowers with his brother. Well, now it was time for the last, the biggest billy goat gruff to go on the bridge and his great big hoofs went really loud. Can you say it? Trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap. Can you read these words? You're so smart. It says trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap. The troll woke up. He heard that billy goat and he jumped up on the bridge and he said, who's that trip? trapping over my bridge. And the great big billy goat gruff said, it's me, great big billy goat gruff. And the troll said, I'm gonna eat you up. Well, the great big billy goat gruff, he didn't say anything. He lowered his great big billy goat horns and he bumped whoop, that troll right off the bridge. The troll landed in the water with a splash and swam away. The big billy goat gruff went trip trap all the way over the bridge and ate the flowers and plants with his brothers. And they all lived happily ever after. The end. We can tell this is a fairy tale because it starts and ends the same way. Do you remember how it started? Once upon a time. And it always ends the same way. And they all lived happily ever after. That's how fairy tales go. Did you also notice if there was a pattern of three? Yesterday in the Goldilocks book, there were three bears, three bowls, three chairs, three beds. Did you notice that this story also has three? Let's count the goats. One, two, three. Yes, fairy tales usually have a pattern of three. Now I'm gonna tell you something else. It's really smart. Are you ready for something really smart? Almost every fairy tale has some kind of a troublemaker in it. In this case, the troublemaker was the troll. Yesterday in Goldilocks, Goldilocks was the troublemaker. She's the one who broke into the house. And when we read the story of the three little pigs, do you remember who the troublemaker was in that story? It was the big bad wolf. Remember he went huff and puff and he blew the houses down. Well, when fairy tales have a troublemaker, do you know there's a special word for the troublemaker? Sometimes even the grown-ups don't know what the word is for the troublemaker, but I'll tell you, and then you can keep that word in your brain and you can tell your parents, I know the word for the troublemaker, and then your parents are gonna say, wow, you are so smart. Are you ready for the word? It's a big one, but I know you can do it. The word for the troublemaker in the book is called the antagonist. Can you say that? Say antagonist. Yes, the antagonist is the bad guy or the troublemaker in the story. So next time you read a, a story and somebody is making trouble, you can say, hey, that guy, that character is the antagonist. Goldilocks was the antagonist and the big bad wolf was the antagonist, and today the mean, nasty troll was the antagonist. Can you say it again? Say antagonist. Wow, your brains are so smart. You are one smart cookie. All right, I'm gonna put the antagonist back down here under the bridge. And now I've got an idea for you for something you can do at home. When you are done watching the 
virtual preschool today, I wonder if you could build a bridge or maybe you have some blocks or even a table at your house that you could pretend to be a bridge and you could make your own puppets. These I printed some pictures, but you could draw pictures of all the characters. You'll need four pictures. You could draw a picture of a, of a little billy goat and a middle billy goat and a great big billy goat and even a mean troll. Yeah, you could print some pictures, you could color some pictures, and then you're gonna take your bridge and I want you to say the story. Say, once upon a time there was a little billy goat who crossed the bridge and his hooves went trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap. Do you hear how my stick is making that sound? Yes, you could even tape him to a block or a Lego, or if you have some sticks, you could tape them to a stick, and you can make it go like this. Trip, trap, trip, trap. Up jumped the troll, and he roared. Who's that trip trapping over my bridge? It's me, little Billy Goat Gruff. And then the troll says, I'm gonna eat you up. And the little Billy Goat says, no, no, no. Wait for my brother. He's much bigger than I am. And then the troll says, okay, you can cross. So the billy goat goes, trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap. Yes, you could say the whole story and make your characters go, trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap, all the way across the bridge. You could do it with a little billy goat. Then the middle billy goat could have a turn. Up jumped the middle billy goat. And he went, trip, trap, trip, trap. The troll heard him and said, Who's that trip trapping over my bridge? And the, the middle billy goat said, It's me, middle billy goat. And the troll said, I'm going to eat you up. And the middle billy goat said, No, no, no. Wait for my brother. He's much bigger than I am. So the troll said, Okay, get off my bridge. And then can you say the words with me? Can you say, Trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap all the way across the bridge. And then the big billy goat's big hoofs are gonna make a really loud sound. Can you make a really loud sound? Trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap. Yes, all the way across. Who's that trip trapping over my bridge? It's me, big billy goat gruff. I'm gonna eat you up. But the big billy goat just pushed his head down and he pushed him into the water. Ah, he swam away. And then the billy goats went trip, Trap, trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap, all the way across the bridge. You could retell the story by making some little story sticks for each of your characters. And then you could say, trip, trap, trip, trap, all the way across the bridge. You could also use the characters to sing a little song. So we could get a little billy goat. These are little finger goat puppets that I have. Aren't they cute? Oh, I was going to tell you the sign for goat. We've been learning all the signs. So goat is a funny one. You have to take two fingers like this and you put it on your chin like a little goat has a little beard and then up on your head like a goat has two horns. Chin, horns. That's the sign for goat. Can you do it? Goat. Yes. We could say the little goat went trip, trip, trap, trip, trip, trap. Trip, trip, trap, the little goat went trip, trip, trap, all across the bridge. Yes, can you sing the next one with me? The middle goat went trip, trip, trap, trip, trip, trap, trip, trip, trap, the middle goat went trip, trip, trap, all across the bridge. And then I've got a great big goat. Can you say this one too? The great big goat went trip, trip, trap. You sing it, trip, trip, trap. Trip, trip, trap. The great big goat went trip, trip, trap. All across the bridge. I even have a little troll. What should he say? What do you think? See my troll? He's got crazy hair and sticking up. The tro little troll said, get off my bridge, get off my bridge, get off my bridge. The little troll said, get off my trip bridge. Then he jumped and swam away. Yeah, we could sing all kinds of songs about those silly three goats. The word goat 
starts with the same letter as Goldilocks. Do you hear it? G, goat, G, Goldilocks. Do you know what letter that is? G, G, that's a hard one. It's the letter G. The letter G has two sounds. It sounds like G, goat, and G, Goldilocks, and it also has a soft sound. But the important one for you to know is the hard G sound, like this, G, G, goat. G, G, Goldilocks. For this game, I have some pictures of things that start with the letter G. Would you like to say them with me? And we'll put them up on the board. So for this one, we have a G, Garden starts with the letter G. You're so smart. And do you know what this is? You put it in your car. It's G, Gas. Gas starts with the letter G. And, ooh, this you might get at your birthday. It's a G, Gift. A gift starts with the letter G. You're very smart. And this is in a fence and you open it up. It's called a G gate. Gate starts with the letter G. And you might see this at the zoo. It's a G, -g gorilla. Gorilla starts with the letter G. You're right. Do you know what this is? He goes honk, honk. Yes, it's a goose. Wow, your brains are so smart. Goose starts with the letter G. And you know this one. We've been learning about this one all morning. It's a G goat. Goat starts with the letter G. And do you know what these are? They come in a little machine. You might put a quarter in and turn it and then they fall out. It's G gum or gumballs. Gum starts with the letter G too. We have two G's. I have the big G and the little G. They both make the same sound. G, G, G. Can you say that? G, G, G. I'm going to hide the big G just for now. And the poem that we're going to say is the letter G game. It says, let's all play the letter G game. Each of these pictures starts the same. So which one do you think we should pick? Where's the G hiding? Which G picture has a G behind it? Can you guess? Now there's lots of boys and girls watching, so you're gonna have to say it really loud. You think it's the goat? Oh, that's a really good guess. Let's see. Nope, it wasn't the goat, but that was good thinking. Where do you think the big G is hiding? Tell me. Behind the garden? We can check the garden. No, that was a good guess though. Which picture has the letter G behind it? Can you tell me? The gorilla? Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Yeah, like that, let's see. No, no G there, but that was a good guess. Hmm, where is the letter G? Where's the G? Hmm, tell me. Oh, there's lots of people guessing. How about the gift? We can try the gift and see. It's not there. Hmm, it's hiding, we can't find it. Tell me where you think the letter G is. You think it's in the gum? Let's check and see. Yes, you were right. The letter G was hiding in the gumball machine. Wow, you're so smart. Would you like to play one more time and see if you can find the letter G? Let's see, let's turn over the garden and the gift. Okay, say the poem, ready? Let's all play the letter G game. Oop, did you see that? <laughs> Each of these pictures starts the same with the G, 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 G. Where's the letter G? Can you guess where it is? You have to say it really loud so I can hear you all the way here in Virginia. Behind the gate, that's a good guess. Up, uh, nope, not there today. Where's the letter G? You think it's in the gum again? We can try it. Good guessing, but it wasn't there. Where's the letter G? You think it's hiding in the gift, like a present? You were right. The G was hiding in the gift. Wow, you are so smart. My brain, that was so smart. I love how you're thinking and guessing where the letters are. 
You're doing a great job at virtual preschool. I'm so proud of you. Well, boys and girls, one of another thing that we can do, one of my favorite things to do is to read other books about fairy tales. And today, I'm going to show you three, nope, four books that are so fun that sort of go along with the three billy goat scruff. I left a link in the video description so maybe your grown up can look these up on your Kindle. This one is called The Three Billy Goat Scruff by Mara Alperin. And this is the same story that I told you over here on the flannel board. It's the basic Three Billy Goat Scruff. Super cute pictures and you're gonna love this one. But I have three different ones that are sort of like Three Billy Goat Scruff and they have a different, different antagonist. This one is called The Three Triceratops tough. So instead of three little goats, these are three Triceratops brothers. And you'll never guess who the troublemaker in this story is. Can you guess? I'll show you on the back. Oh, the antagonist is a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Yes. And instead of saying trip, trap, trip, trap, these tri Triceratops go like this. Clip, clomp, clip, Clump all the way across. That's a good one to read too. This one is really silly. It's called The Three Silly Billies. And this one, um, they're not regular old billy goats who live in a valley. They're silly billy goats who do some silly things. And can you see the antagonist under the bridge? It's a good one. It will make you laugh. And finally, I have a sweet story about some billy goats who really feel bad that they keep bothering the troll. This one is called The Three Billy Goats Fluff by Rachel Mortimer. And in this one, the goat is, I mean, the troll is really annoyed because the goats keep waking him up. So the mama goat decides that they will try to be nicer to the troll who lives under the bridge. And she knits all of the little billy goats some fluffy slippers. So when they go trip trap across the bridge, it's quiet. Look, the troll is listening and he can't even hear their hooves going trip trap because they're wearing these fluffy little slippers. How thoughtful. Those are a few of my very favorite goat books if you're looking for something else to read after preschool is over. All right, I think it's time for us to get Betsy out and sing a little goodbye song. And you can throw her some bird seed and then she'll blow you a kiss. Are you ready? Say, Betsy, come back. Can you say it? <gasps> Betsy, come back. Come on, Betsy, our friends are waiting. <gasps> Hello, boys and girls. I'm so glad you came to preschool today. I love sharing stories with you and playing games with you and singing songs with you. You're a great friend. Are you ready to sing goodbye now? All right, let's do it all together. Preschool time is over now, over now, over now. Preschool time is over now for another day. Can you wave to Betsy? Wave goodbye to all of our friends, all of our friends, all of our friends. Wave goodbye to all of our friends. It's time to stay home and play. Hip, hip, hooray, yay. Good job, everyone. Will you throw Betsy some birdseed? Reach down into your pocket. Do you have a handful of birdseed? All right, on the count of three, Throw it to Betsy and she'll catch it in her mouth. Are you ready? One, two, three. Oh, thanks for the bird seed. Um, um, throw me some more. Oh, thank you so much, boys and girls. That was so nice. Okay, now Betsy's gonna blow you a kiss. Get ready to catch it. And when she blows it, you're gonna catch it and then stick it on your cheek. Are you ready? Here it comes. She's working it up. Oh, good job. Catch that kiss. Stick it on your cheek. Give yourself a big hug. Oh, Betsy, I'm giving you a big hug. Yes, and thank you so much for coming. Grown-ups, there is a printable pack with play ideas for your kids. It's virtual preschool week two, day three. It's in the video description. 
download it, you can print it, you have to open with Adobe, you can type your child's name. I made one for Betsy so she could practice her name. This will only work if you download the file and then edit it in Adobe Reader. So you just type in your child's name where it says Betsy, the dots will appear and the boxes will appear so you can practice writing one letter in each box. Betsy's gonna have to practice hers later. And there are some coloring activities and counting activities that you can do if you're looking for a little bit of quiet time. Thanks for joining me and I can't wait to see you again tomorrow. Bye everybody. Thanks for coming today. Bye friends. See you tomorrow. Betsy, this is the part where we have to find the button. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bye everyone.